Hey, hold it, guys. We have Chris Neal standing by. Greg, you hear Ron McLean? I've got you, Ron, yes. Just when you're interviewing Chris, John Paddock was so happy with Chris's goal for obvious reasons, but I wonder if there was some little wrinkle in how he put Chris on the ice for that goal. Just Paddock was unusually happy. Over to you. I'll ask him that, Ron. Thanks very much. And Chris, Ron, just wanted to know, was there some little wrinkle to that goal? John Paddock was pretty happy that he had you on the ice, he thought. Oh, you know, you get the opportunity to be out that uh, late in the game. Uh, you know, in a 1-1 game, it's uh, it's great. You know, the guy's got a big goal right uh, later part of the game. And, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, J John's showing confidence in me, putting me out there. Uh, you know, it's great. What was said after the second period? I know you guys were playing well. You couldn't seem to f solve the goaltender. I think uh, we weren't really happy with the way we were playing. You know, I think, uh, you know, they, they took the game to us for the, you know, the first half of the game. And, uh, you know, I think... Uh, you know, Elfie stood up in the room and said something. You know, he wasn't uh, happy with the way the guys were working. Uh, you know, we were working uh, for the wrong reasons. You know, uh, that one guy in four check and the other guy wasn't supporting and stuff. So we uh, sorted some things out, came out in the third period, and, uh, you know, uh, we were ready to go. Is that something that the captain does very often with your hockey team, or is that unusual? No, he definitely, he's a leader. You, you watch him out there, uh, game in and game out. Uh, he's unbelievable. Uh, even if he doesn't say nothing, he leads by example. And, you know, that's what a captain does. Uh, you know, he's uh, the, the best one in the league as far as I'm concerned. I'm I'm modest a bit, but, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, he's uh, he's definitely a leader, one of the uh, elite players in the, the game today. And, uh, you know, I think uh, he just, uh, he gets overlooked a lot. Why don't we take a look at your goal? Maybe you can walk us through it. Uh, pretty good uh, uh, forecheck as well. Oh, it's definitely good uh, forecheck. Uh, you know, Volsky stepped down. I, I kind of cover the point for him. And, you know, I think uh, you know, right in the slot. And, uh, you know, we've been working on that. You know, stay higher in the slot. You're third man. And, uh, you know, you're going to be able to come down and, uh, you know, get some good scoring opportunities. Uh, you know, I got one uh, earlier earlier in the game. And, uh, you know, I think uh, I warmed Chris Ball the way up. Uh, you hit him right in the chest. So, <laughs> you know, I think I setting him up for that one. <laughs> that one wasn't a setup. You just shoot it towards the net. You got it away in a hurry, I thought. Well, uh, you know, I picked, uh, you know, the, the sh well, far side, and, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, you come uh, catch a goalie coming across, uh, you know, catch the, the far side, uh, you know, it's hard to stop. Well, a great goal for you, Chris, and a very good game. Congratulations. Thanks, Melzi. Ron, you might have had something there. Back to you. No, you had something there. <laughs> I like what you got out of him about Alfie. You yeah, yeah. I love that. Uh, some... Absolutely, because you know what? For Chris Neal, and the reason why John Paddock's so happy, because a guy like Chris Neal does so much for your hockey team that doesn't show up on a score sheet sometimes. And it's everyone's excited when a guy like that gets a chance to chip in and get a big goal for your team. He's ex extremely, the whole team's happy for a guy like that, but you know what? How about the face not moving? <laughs> on the face, just yeah. the hand. Just the hand's moving. Just the hand. That's yeah. about as much excitement as he gets, but you know,